everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install the Chisels and Bits mod for Minecraft 1.18 and 1.18.1. Chisels and Bits is really the best mod out there for creating a custom block in Minecraft. You can use it to create these like very, very ornate custom blocks that are kind of up to you is what they say, right? For example, you can make a welcome sign, right? And actually like extrude that out, right? Like so. You could also make custom fencing. I mean, look at that. Look how awesome that is. All these little blocks, all these like uh, stone all of this stuff is made with chisels and bits. It's, it's honestly one of the coolest mods out there. You can even do things like this, like this railing. All of this is with the chisels and bits mod. You'll see it a bit more once we get in game, but overall, this is a really cool mod. I mean, even this right here is done with chisels and bits. You can go in and cut out these individual blocks and, and basically sculpt them. So the possibilities are unlimited, really, when it comes to the chisels and bits mod. And because of that, it's one of my favorite mods out there. But my favorite sponsor out there is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to next YZ select. Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Chisels and Bits. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official Chisels and Bits download page for Forge, as you can see, and we'll be using Forge in this video. Once you're here, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.18, and then under that, you'll see Chisel Forge 1.18.1. Click on the orange download button to the right, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, you may have to keep or save the file depending on your browser. So, on the bottom left, on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep it, and the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save it, and it's 100% safe to do that. Now, we can go ahead and move on to Forge. As Chisels and Bits said, this is a Forge mod, so we need to go ahead and get Forge to install it. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below in the description. Just click Show More down there in the description, and then once you're here, go ahead and scroll down, and you will see the green Download Forge button. Button. Now this is actually an in-depth guide on how to get Forge for Minecraft. So if you want to go through this tutorial and use like a text version, there you go. That's how to do that. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the green download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website. When you're on this website, you want to make sure Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected. As you can see, it is right there. If it's not, on the left-hand side, click on 1.18 and then click on 1.18.1. Finally, I come over here to where it says MC 1.18.1. Come under download latest and click on the installer button. Let's go ahead and click on it right like so. And it will take you up to this page where put your hands in the air. Stop. Take your hands off the keyboard, off the mouse, don't do anything. On this page, all you need to do is wait 10 seconds. After 10 seconds or so, a red skip button will appear in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, Forge will download in the bottom left of Google Chrome and the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe as long as it has Forge in the title, which ours does, to keep it in Google Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get Forge and Chisel and Bits to the desktop here. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen. It's probably in the bottom of your screen, unless you're on Windows 11, and it will be in the center of your screen. And this tutorial does work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this little Windows icon on the top left. And once we're here, we want to go ahead and type in Downloads. We'll have this Downloads file folder. It will open up Downloads right like so. And we can drag and drop Forge and Chisels and Bits to our desktop. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to start off with Forge. However, if uh, these icons look different than mine, like it's an Internet Explorer icon, it's literally anything else but this. Like if it's anything else but this icon, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just keep watching the video. We're going to cover that. We cover so many troubleshooting things in this video. So if you have issues, just keep watching. Now let's go ahead and right click on Forge, see if we can open it. So right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. And if anything happens but opening this right here, if you didn't have Java at all, right, if Java wasn't even on that list, if Forge, you had Java but Forge didn't open when you clicked on Install or click on OK, or if your icons are broken, so your icons look different, they don't look like mine, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18. Mods, servers, anything revolving around Minecraft 1.18 Java 17 is required. Luckily, in the description down below, you have Java 17 linked right there, how to download and install it, and this tutorial is a simple three-step tutorial that goes through everything you need to know. Now, for most people, that's going to allow you to open up Forge, but you still may have issues, and if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. So, for example, if the icons look different, if you can't open it after installing Java 17, the jar fix is what's going to fix that. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Then it's going to go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's going to go through, download, do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed for Minecraft 1.18.1. And uh, once Forge is installed, 
the hard part's kind of over. From here, it's relatively easy to get chisels and bits, and as you can see, successful install client profile forge. Now, if it doesn't come up and say this, you have any issues before the forge installation process, like you've got the installer open, you click install, it doesn't work, that's because you need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1, come back and this will work. Just play Minecraft 1.18.1 vanilla, no mods, anything like that, come back and it will work and successfully install like it has. Go ahead and click OK, and now we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to go ahead and make sure that we select the forge installation that's here. Now for me, it's going to be here. Forge installation will be working. If you have any issues, we're going to show you how to fix them. So first things first, if uh, down here in the bottom left, you see Forge, you see 1.18.1, go ahead and click play and then click play again. However, if you don't see Forge here, click on this little arrow and you may need to select it. However, you do want to make sure it also says 1.18.1 forge under it. And if it doesn't, that means the installation is not going to work. You need to make sure it says 1.18.1 forge under forge. If that's the case, or you don't have forge in this list at all, you want to click on installations. Then in the top right up here, make sure mod is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded and forge disappears. We check modded, forge reappears, hover over it, click play, click play again, assuming that it has 1.18.1. Now, if you don't have Forge here or if the Forge version is wrong, what we need to do is go ahead and click New Installation. Then we need to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible Minecraft server where we have amazing survival, amazing skyblock, truly incredible, over 150 players on live day. Come play with us. And let's just go and click on the uh, versions drop down box here. And then in here, we want to go ahead and select release 1.18.1 Forge. For me, it's right up here at the top. Yours may be all the way at the bottom, but for me, it's right up here at the top. And then once we've got that selected, we can go ahead and click on resolution and change that. That. You don't need to change resolution, I'm just doing it once we get in game. The most important part is selecting release 1.18.1 forge here. Now I have seen some people saying that this isn't appearing for them. Usually that's because you had Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open whenever you tried to install forge from the launcher. If that's the case, close out of the launcher, close out of Minecraft, and make sure that none of those are open and reinstall forge using this file here. Now let's just go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right, and now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But most importantly, it says 1.18.1 forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing modded Minecraft, and then click play again. Now it's going to open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so, or excuse me, now it's going to open up Minecraft with Forge, and the hard part's over. From this point, it's super simple and easy to install chisels and bits. Just a few clicks. Literally, you'll be like, it's that simple? Yes, it is that simple. So, nevertheless, you are seeing how long it can take to launch Forge and launch modded Minecraft. It's going to take longer with mods, just so you know. So, white screens, things like that, it's perfectly normal when it comes to launching Minecraft with Forge and just modded Minecraft in general. You'll learn that occasionally. It's just best to wait. If you feel like it's frozen, it's probably not. Just wait. <laughs> so, here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu. And once we're on the main menu, we want to go ahead and click on the Mods button. And from the from the Mods tab, you want to click on Open Mods Folder in the bottom left. I stuttered a little bit there, so from the Minecraft main menu, go ahead and click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods Folder in the bottom left. That's, of course, going to open up our Mods Folder, and all we need to do is drag and drop chisels and bits from our Mods Folder into the Mods, basically, folder here. Or, excuse me, from the Desktop into the Mods Folder. So all you need to do is take chisels and bits from your Desktop and drag and drop that into your Mods Folder. Now, when we come back to Minecraft after you've added it to your Mods Folder, it's not going to be here. That's because we need to click Done and quit the game. We need to relaunch Minecraft with Forge and chills and bits will be installed. So here we are. Minecraft launcher is reopened. And once we're in here, we shouldn't have to create a profile. We shouldn't have to do anything like that. We should already have a profile, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com with 1.18.1 forge under it. Click play. Click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with chisels and bits installed. It's that simple and that easy to get this mod. And like I said, it is one of my favorite Minecraft mods out there. I mean, truthfully, the best custom block mod that I know of out there because it actually allows you to add in custom blocks. Like, one of the things is resource packs are cool, and technically that's a Minecraft mod, but they just change texture. This actually allows you to add in a truly custom block to Minecraft, and uh, I've, I've never seen anything like it. It's really cool. So, props to Chisels and Bits, amazing team there to uh, kind of put this together and make sure that this is working and keep it up to date, which is something I love to see with mods. So, if we go to mods here, we will see there is Chisels and Bits running and amazing. We can go ahead and jump in game. I always like to create new worlds for this just in case because, uh, yeah, for, for reasons of basically mod testing, sometimes I will run multiple mods and uninstall them, so I always create a new world. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut, and I will meet you in-game. So here we are in-game. Has anyone else gotten a uh, lot of snow biomes in 118? I feel like I have. Nevertheless, obviously to use chisels and bits, we will need a chisel. So we can go ahead and go Sentiment in Creative and just grab one here. You can also see the uh, clipboard, which is kind of cool, but nevertheless, once we're in here, I'll go ahead and, uh, I don't know, we'll grab the netherite one because... 
yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we now have the chisel here, and we can can use it. So one of the cool things is, uh, wait, I gotta get away from this snow. <laughs> I feel like there's so much snow in uh, in 118. Is anybody else experiencing this? Anyway, once we're over here, we can see that right now we have the single basically uh, block selection. So we can come in here, right like so, and do uh, I don't know, do something weird like uh, make this kind of like a a square here. We'll put a block on a block basically. <laughs> and uh, you see what's cool is now you can go ahead and kind of repeat that pattern. And then once you have it, there is ways to copy this with chisels and bits, which is uh, which is nice. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we should be able to go around. And as you can see, you can start to make a really cool looking pattern with that, even though I, I messed it up. <laughs> but nevertheless, you can start to make a pattern and you can use it on any blocks. For example, if I wanna come over here and use this on this coal, we could, we could actually make it to where the coal block shows the coal as like a, a deeper, deeper sort of thing there. So yeah, you can see it can actually get really, really cool. And that looks really, really cool as well. So, so much potential with chisels and bits. One of the coolest mods out there. Now you can actually uh, get these bits as well and kind of collect them and place them. So you can use them right like so to uh, kind of add to a block instead of remove, which is awesome. Additionally, I do want to mention that you can get these from here in creative as well, and I believe you can get them in survival. There's also all of these other stuff. For example, you can have a bit bag, so you can store your bits automatically, as well as, uh, you know, chiseled bit storage, all this stuff. But one of the things that I find really, really cool is, where is it? Yeah, chiseled station, which allows for the mass production of chiseled blocks. So once you have a chiseled block, you can use it in here to kind of mass produce something. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. I think you can get like a blueprint and that's how that works so as you can see amazing mod yeah as you can see you can create a pattern and then you'll be good to go so nevertheless thank you so much for watching that is how you can get chisels and bits one of the coolest mods out there i also believe there is a way to change the uh, chisel and like you know what size that the uh the bits are and so let's see if we can go in here into controls and then key binds and i believe it's going to be in here somewhere Let's see, yeah, chisels and bits. So as you can see, there's all the different stuff. You can open the tool menu with R, and I'm guessing that's, yes, what's gonna allow us to, for example, change it to a spear and, uh, you know, start taking out larger chunks of blocks. Maybe. Where are we at? I wanna see this. Why isn't, come on. <laughs> it's not, there we go. It's not showing us uh, decently well here. Seems to be maybe glitched even, but um, yeah, you've got that one, and then there's also, if we press R, we can do like cubes and do large, and it will take larger cubes out of areas. So we were taking these small cubes out up here, right? We can take larger ones out as well. So nevertheless, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.